Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is video number... I don't know. <laughs> the reason is because I forgot. Um, well, I didn't forget. But I forgot the video number because I was not able to uh, make videos. And it's been, I think, 9-10 days. Um, and it's because of workload. So I just uh, got a little bit time to make videos. So I'm making it now and i'll make it very quickly so pay attention to what i'm doing if you want to learn anyway if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings and if you are returning welcome back and if you haven't subscribed yet i don't know why you haven't subscribed you should sub subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, so you get notification whenever i upload a new video simple as that and um, we are working on payroll management system in case if you're not aware of it and today is videos is continuation of what we have done in previous videos so we are we are going to kind of look at how do we um, create a dashboard in a way that you know we use the uh, same objects for different purposes and this is what I'm going to demonstrate today. So basically, what I'm saying is that we have got a main menu. So if I click on any of the button, uh, the respective button should appear on the top of the screen. And that I'm calling it as a sub menu. So we have combination of main menu and a sub menu okay now what buttons will appear how many it will appear what would be the caption of those buttons etc i'm going to explain all of that in this video so if this sounds interesting then keep watching do not just close the browser okay i know this can be sometime boring videos tutorials but trust me if you are into learning this gives you some sort of benefit and value at the end hopefully anyway so i will stop talking in terms of talking talking and i will focus on building something on showing something demonstrating something so let's get right into um uh, the design or design mode and you can see that these buttons i was talking about at the moment these buttons are hidden and so what we need to do we need to um show these buttons based on what we select from the main menu button so as you know if you have been following this this series of videos um you know that we have a couple of forms like around 16 or 18 forms something like that so i have basically uh did i have done some work around um in which i determined that which button uh, or which form should go under which menu so you can see these are the same buttons that we have got uh, except this this we need to add a button here but uh, you can see here employee master data and employee master data okay so this means if i click on this button uh, what do i what do i get well as a result couple of things will happen first these five buttons will appear okay on the screen then the caption of these five buttons from button one two three four five will be changed to caption or uh, to this right so it will be changed to this that would be the second act that is going to happen if i click on this button third i'm going to um auto populate a text here that will represent what button has been clicked on from the main menu so if i clicked on employee master data we will have something here like employees or something uh, basically this text box or is is the um, placeholder for the menu which is being clicked on okay and then we will see these list boxes will also appear so this list box for payroll this list box for dynamic this uh, text box search and the bt and create these are all will appear automatically based on what we will select or clicked on here 
all right hopefully that is clear so let's uh, get right into vba and let's do some vba coding so i select the first button which is employee master data and i go to the property sheet of this object uh, or control sorry and then i uh, go to the event and on a click event dot 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 and code builder and here we are in vba editor so as i explained the sequence so first thing will happen is that the button will appear because at the moment they are hidden so we'll say me dot btn one dot visible is equal to true so with this line of code a little line of code the button will appear now we want a caption to be changed from button one to something else what is that something else so let's go to uh, excel and see here so that something else is profile so button one should be changed to profile so me dot button one dot caption is equal to profile okay now let's move on to button two me dot button two dot visible is equal to true me dot button two dot caption so what would be the caption well role so the caption would be roles let's move on to the third button me dot button three dot visible is equal to true me dot button three dot caption is equal to is equal to what well compensation or salary right to make things easy for the user now next is me dot btn4 dot visible is equal to true me dot btn4 dot caption is equal to what salary change salary change okay next me dot btn5 dot visible is equal to true me dot btn5 dot caption so what would be the fifth button grading okay so now we have successfully uh, populated buttons on the form and we have changed the caption of these buttons as well from button one two three four and five to the respective um, buttons that we have decided that it will appear like these Okay, now the next step is that we want to populate in the main menu text box that and we want to, you know, kind of put a placeholder and to, to tell that what button we have clicked on from the main menu. So that is a simple single line code. So we'll say me dot txt main menu txt menu dot value is equal to is equal to employees okay so that will be employees all right what next well next we want this text uh, list box this list box for dynamic and this list box for search and this button to create uh, will be visible as well so we'll say me dot btn oops me dot list payroll dot visible is equal to true me dot list dynamic search dot visible is equal to true me dot btn create dot visible is equal to true so we are done with the first main menu button and well not fully but at least we'll have some sort of activity going on if we click on this button now so uh, watch what happens when i click on master data button of course what what nothing magic will happen but the controls will appear on the screen according to whatever we have done the coding for so if i click here now you can see that uh, profile role salary grading all of these appear the 
captions are changed from btn1 btn button 2 button 3 4 5 2 and their respective like profile role salary etc here we have main menu uh, employees that's what we have clicked on and we have got the payroll list box we have got the dynamic search list box we have got the button but we don't have the text box so we might have forgotten about it i might have forgotten about it so i click on the button we'll go to the code and rest assured yeah we forgot about it so me.txt search dot visible is equal to true all right cool so if i'll go now click here boom we've got the text box and list boxes button and all is appearing according to our requirement now let's do one more example so i want to show you demonstrate to you that you know having the same buttons you can actually give instructions that you know which uh, button will have what caption according to the selection from the main menu so i'll go right click on it go to design view and we'll go to the manage earnings main menu we'll go to the property sheet we'll go to the event tab we'll click on dot 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 choose the code builder and this time we'll say me dot btn1 dot visible is equal to true it's going to be the same button nothing different same button is going to be utilized this time for something else me dot btn1 dot caption is equal to now this time it will not be profile this time the caption will be bonus okay because we have clicked on the other button on the main menu so that's why the caption would should automatically change let's go with the second button me dot btn2 dot visible is equal to true me dot btn2 dot caption is equal to this time what would be the caption incentives incentives okay all right spellings incentive hopefully this is correct spelling right me dot btn3 dot visible is equal to true me dot btn3 dot caption so what should be the caption well the caption should be claims okay me dot btn4 dot visible is equal to two me dot btn4 dot caption is equal to medical okay and this time we will not need the fifth button and that's because we don't have anything to use uh, for the fifth button so we'll hide the fifth button so we'll say me dot btn5 dot visible is equal to false okay now this button will be hidden and again we will do the exactly same that we want to uh, for in the main menu instead of employees now it should be earnings um, and the other object should be appeared as well so me dot txt menu dot value is equal to earnings okay me dot list payroll dot visible is equal to true me dot list dynamic search dot visible is equal to true me dot txt search dot visible is equal to true me dot btn create dot visible equals true and that's pretty much it okay so i'll go here i'll close it let's test it out so go to the form view and let's close this form okay now let's open it again 
Now, if I click on manage earnings, we should get four buttons and the caption should be changed accordingly. We should get these objects as well and a text box here as well that shows earnings. So here we go. And rest assured, we are getting earnings here. We are getting four buttons here uh, with the bonus incentives, claims, medical, and we're getting list boxes, search box for search and the button to create a new record if i click on employees well not a big change happened but there is a change certainly now the caption of these buttons are different and here we have employees rather than earnings and these list boxes remain same um, until we will give them some instruction as well so that's what i wanted to demonstrate i really like this style not because i made it it's because it's kind of minimalist minimalistic design so you don't have to have lots of controls or objects in order to you know get things done so i really like you have only four or five buttons and you use those four or five buttons over and over again for different purposes that's beautiful Okay. Now, in next video, what I'm going to show is or demonstrate is that if I click on profile button, then what happens? Well, technically, then we should get a list of all the employees profile that we have active profile that we have created and exist in our um, database. So that all should appear from here uh, on here. And then we should be able to create a new employee as well similarly with the roles so if i click on roles i should get a complete list of roles and i can i should be able to create a role here from by clicking here likewise with every other button as well so that's the idea that's what we are going to do but for this video that's it i hope that you have learned something i hope that you have liked it even if you didn't like even if you didn't learn please do let me know in the comments below because that helps me a lot. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload any video. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.